Um, I'm, my name's Liam and I'm from the Youth Sport Trust and I'm part of the Youth Sport Trust Social Circle and I'm here with Hannah Cockcroft. Hi, I'm Hannah Cockcroft, MB, um, double Paralympic champion, 24 time world record holder and double world champion in wheelchair racing. So, um, we know that you're like an Olympic Paralympic superstar and it's always that sort of thing, but we've also started uni this year, so how are you finding that? Yeah, um, it's hard work, I'm not going to lie, it's really hard work kind of balancing the work that we're expected to do with the training, so I'm still training every day um, and doing exactly the same as what I was doing before I started uni, but I decided that I had enough time for a degree as well. Um, so, you know, the uni's been working really close with me to make sure that I'm never kind of too overly tired and to make sure that I'm kind of keeping on top of work and it is, it is really hard work but I'm enjoying it and hopefully I'll pass my first, my first term so we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Do you sort of find yourself putting, find, you finding like you're struggling to sort of split your time because you worked on training all the time and that would put your life and now you have to balance training or studying all these other things you've got to do. I think I find, you know, if I just had training and studying to do then it would be fine but, you know, at the moment I'm completely missing out on the social side of, of being a fresher, which you know, is kind of the whole point of being a fresher is to go out there and make friends and have a drink. But you know, I guess I come into this as a mature student at 21 years old, and so I'm a little bit older than everyone in my house and a little bit older than everyone in my car. So it kind of I've odd one out anyway. So I'm as well just to make myself odder by not going out. Um, so what sort of advice can you use to other young people who are like, for example, I did sixth form during their GCSE, then they was trying to sort of balance studying and I guess, you know, the most important thing for them to do is get good at time management. It's something that I have always been so conscious of because I'm terrible at it. And since I come to university, because there's so much to fit in, that is the one thing I've really had to work hard on. So I know that if I don't get up at a certain time, I'm not going to get my training done to get to university in time. And if you're late to uni, then you miss class and then you can get kicked off the course. So there's always kind of a, an effect if I do, if I mess up my, my planning too much. So people really need to get their heads around that, especially if they ever want to plan to come to, come to university, so that they can fit everything in and they need to kind of prioritise the fact that training and studying comes well before any of the bits of the nice bits that come with being a student. Yeah, so it's more of a sense that like you can do both, you've just got to learn how to do both, you sort of enjoy both if you put yeah. the same yeah. amount into Definitely, yeah, it, it's a long learning curve and I'm still learning, I've been yeah. here 10 weeks now and I'm still messing things up and missing training sessions and being late to classes and all sorts of things. Um, but it is, it's a learning curve and it's a massive change for everybody so, you know, it's uh, not something that a lot of athletes do and I can kind of understand why now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure you're perfectly fine. Um, hi, so, in all honesty, which one do you reckon you put more energy into, your training or your studying? Definitely my training. I always said when I started university, training will still always come first yeah. because you know, that's the most important thing in the world to me and, and the degree is something just on the side, something because 2014, 2015 are fairly quiet years, I needed something to fill my time as well as the racing, so it felt like a good idea. Um, now I'm here, I'm not so sure anymore, but... <laughs> <laughs> so I've only got the next two and a half years to work out, so I'm sure you'll be fine, don't worry about it. Well look guys, that was Hannah Cockroft and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye. <laughs>